once again, and if you don't know already, I'm Scott Florence, and just now I'm going to be explaining what dark matter is. Dark matter is thought to be making up about 22% of our universe, and with dark energy being the other 74%, there's not much left for ordinary matter like you and me. And most of what's left is just intergalactic dust, leaving us and all the stars and planets and black holes to be just 0.4% of what this universe is made out of. And essentially we think of dark matter as a form of matter that doesn't respond in any way at all to any form of electromagnetic radiations, the strong force, the weak force. The only way that it responds to anything is because of gravity. And it's just helping things stick together. All around our galaxy there's a huge sphere of dark matter and that allows any galaxy to spread out in the way it does and it helps prevent the arms of our spiral galaxy not to be flung off into space as they are going really quickly around and we have more evidence for dark matter than we do for dark energy because dark matter isn't so much an excuse for oh yes uh, this is why these things stick together we can more directly see its effects quite recently there was an observation of the aftermath of galaxies colliding and what the researchers did was they mapped the dark matter in the area and they did that by looking at the distortion of light from behind these galaxies because light also is affected by gravity and since dark matter does have mass and it exerts a gravitational force, dark matter does in fact bend light. And what was found in this case rather surprisingly was that after the collision a large amount of dark matter was left in the area that the collision happened, despite all of the galaxies being further away from that point now. And that surprised them because they were expecting the dark matter to stick around with the galaxies rather than just form a family of its own. But that along with things like the arms of spiral galaxies not being flung off gives us evidence of dark matter actually existing. Also it's believed that our own galaxy has small, has small satellite galaxies of dark matter that cause our galaxy to ripple because unlike in most of the visualizations that you see these days our galaxy isn't this awfully lovely and flat galaxy. In fact, what it is is a galaxy that's rippling like a slow motion, a symbol in slow motion. We are well aware of some small satellite galaxies going around ours helping it ripple, such as the large and small Magellanic clouds. And when I say dark matter satellite galaxies, it's more like disturbances or differences in densities of the dark matter halo that exists around our galaxy. And to our knowledge, also exists around every other galaxy in the known universe. And the density of dark matter and dark energy throughout the universe depends on what the inevitable fate of the universe will end up being. One possibility is if there is much dark matter in the universe, that will eventually cause the whole of the universe to stop expanding and start coming down upon itself and collapsing into an infinitesimally small point once again and perhaps after that there would be another big bang and the, it would turn into a cycle. Another possibility is if there's a greater density of dark energy then the universe will just keep on expanding and expanding and expanding until the density of dark energy is too great for even atoms to stick together with one another and there will just be single atoms floating around in space light years from any other atoms because the universe will just be so gosh darn big. And another possibility is that the universe will just keep expanding and everything will eventually get sucked up into black holes and uh, thanks to Hawking's radiation these black holes would eventually dissipate themselves leaving just a vast emptiness in this vast universe. And the way it looks when we measure the expansion of the universe, it looks like it's going to be one of the latter two. It doesn't look like there's going to be a big crunch, it looks like the universe is going to accelerate in its expansion. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, suggestions or corrections, leave them down below. As most of you probably know, I do aim to reply to every comment so that you don't feel left out. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.
Have I? I don't even remember now. I've just had a senior moment at my age with no more life. No more nothing. Just nothingness. It's like a magician. It's gone. What am I doing? I don't know. I'll draw it. That's what I can do. Ah, fate of the universe. Dark matter and dark energy. Yes. Not a tambourine. I wanted to say, uh, symbol. Um, it's around here somewhere. Hold on. Mag... Magellan... Mag... Magellantic. No, Magellanic. 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 I do like this magazine and I have been subscribed to them for a while. I've got a bit of a row of these magazines up there. Here we are. Okay, that was supposed to be our galaxy rippling, but it looks more like a peanut, so... This will be cut out. Such as the large and small mag Maganelic. Such as the large and small Magana Maga no, yeah. Magal Magellanic. Magellanic. Say the most awkward words in this on these videos. Have I said have I explained this at all? <sighs> Exasperation. Thanks to Hawking's radiation, which just occurs to me could kind of make it into another video. This is going to be requiring so much cutting.